Now, wait a second. You, you canceled plans just to come here to do the little program? You mean in New York City? Yeah. Yeah, big plans. What were you going to do? I had a yoga class in Brooklyn Heights. Oh. <laughs> they made it sound like she canceled plans. She flew back to L.A. Well, you we were your... going to barbecue. It was a whole thing. <laughs> oh. So... I'm glad to be here. Though. I very, feel guilty. Very... The barbecue and the yoga, that's a yeah, wow. That's all right. But you know how uh, Bill Macy was talking about being stoic? You mean William H. Yeah, Macy, William right? Yeah, William H. Macy, right. yeah. I'm not. You're, 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 you're <laughs> I'm different. To you're... I'm totally different. Yeah, I respect his stoicalness. Right. But, yeah. You're crazy? No, you're not crazy. I'm, I'm here to help you. You want to you wanna be cool? You want to be low-key? What do you want to yeah, do? I just feel kind of chill relaxed out? with you, chill a little bit. Or do you want to look at the pictures from FHM? <laughs> You like doing that? Somebody said to me today, they said, I, I, they said, who's on tonight? Who's on tonight? And I said, uh, I said, it was his friend, our, Doug Herzog, our old friend, oh, Doug. Yeah, was, Doug, was, from was, MTV. From MTV. And I said, Kari, where? And he says, isn't she in those magazines every six months, the Maxims and the FHMs? I'm not. No? No, every 12 weeks. Well, exactly. <laughs> no. No, I'm not. You know, okay. I, like sometimes I'm like on the FHM Hot 100 and I'm like number 72. Right. And then the next year I'm like gone from the list. Like well, I'm does, not hot anymore. How does that happen? You know? I'm just not hot anymore. That must be takes, devastating. Yeah, it's devastating. It does a, you know, blood You drop ego. off the list yeah. and you feel like off you're you're nobody. And then yeah. you you go yeah. take a yoga class. And Last year I was in front of Beyonce. Okay? This year, not on the list. You were not in front of list. Beyonce. Yeah, I was like 71. She was like 72 or something. And this to year, me, you'll always be in the top 50. Always. <laughs> Thank you! I just, like, <laughs> I just like saying it. Now, um, okay. Uh, that movie, Eight-Legged Freaks, that's yeah. a little sci-fi thing. Yes, it is. And it looked... Uh, hey, you're from the Midwest, right? You're from Minnesota. What happened? What right? Happened? <laughs> No, because we do these sci-fi conventions now to promote the film. Yeah. And so we're going to be in Minneapolis this oh, yeah. weekend. Yeah. Oh, great. So I was wondering, maybe, you know, I could meet your mom. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm not a girl you bring home to mom? I don't know. I have, I, we just met. We have never met before. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, like simple things in life, though. Can we get back to the movie? Yeah, we can. Yeah. <laughs> But it, I, it looks kind of fun as far as the, the crawling things. Is it, is it super scary, or how would you describe it? Um, yeah, it's scary. It's one of these movies. It, it sort of pays homage to the B horror films of the 50s. Mm -hmm. And so you get sort of like a, a real endorphin rush because you get scared. So you kind, it's kind of like this. You're watching the movie, and you watch... Ah! <laughs> and then you laugh. Right? So it's like this kind of rush, and then when you leave, you Wait, kind of feel high. Why do you laugh? Who, who because does... it's funny, too. Maybe this is how you react, though. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if, if it's... Rick Overton is in the movie. He plays Deputy Pete to my sheriff, Sam Parker, and he's a comic, and he's very funny. Yeah. And Dougie Doug is in it, and Oh, he's nice to see really, Dougie really Doug, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Right? Dougie um, Doug, come on, cool running. Now, you... I, they tell me that you, you have a reputation uh, off camera as being kind of a wild one, <laughs> kind of a wild thing. And but and yet you're settling down now as you reach 25? Yeah, 20, 26. 26? Yeah, 26. Um, uh, no, not settling down. No, I'm just trying to be a little more mature. I've been wild. I definitely have, but it's the, time to grow up now. now do what, what do, do you... serious movies like Eight Legged Freaks. <laughs> <laughs> what serious are you... actress. I'm getting nods from the Academy. I can feel what it. Are you, what are you doing as far as uh, being not as wild as you used to be? How are you mellowing? Well, um... Do you still party all I, the time? You no, know, but I no longer wear my brother's pajamas and make them into, like, you know, crazy outfits. Right. And I, I don't play in punk bands anymore, which is kind of sad. You used sad. to play in punk bands. Yeah, I don't have to sneak out of the house anymore to, uh, to, okay. to go meet my friends. I'm, what about... I don't swim naked in pools at major parties at the Chateau Marmont. I don't... I can't! Now, wait I'm a an adult! Did you do that at some point? At, at a party? Long, you know. And, why, and what, what prompted you Hey, I was an it? MTV personality. It was rock and roll, baby. You just said it, yeah? <laughs> what about the tattoos? How... Uh, yeah, I'm getting tattoos removed. How do you do that? Yeah, the 80s are over. Because I... I laser. Manilo forever. I want that off me. <laughs> yeah. And I just try... That's, that's... Manilo forever is kind of like my ex-husband's name on my ankle. Which really? You, you have it? See. I'm getting it removed. It's, well, Is you know, it I painful? cover it up in every way I can. Oh. But Daniel, gone. 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 <laughs> Will you tell... I, Hello, I, technology. I love this story. Will you tell the Fred Siegel story? <laughs> that's a that's a, a store out here, fine clothes, and you actually worked there. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I'm just making sure I'm all intact here. Okay. Um, you really want to hear that I story? I like it, yeah. 
I like okay, it. It's very funny. Um, when I first came to L.A., I was, you know, sort of hot off remote control and people knew me and stuff. And I did a movie that Rennie Harlan directed called Ford Fairly and that starred Ford Andrew Fairly. Dice Clay. Andrew Clay. Dice Clay. Right. Well, I was told that I could have this, you know, small feature role if I flew myself out, put myself up. And, and I did. And um, I didn't get paid a lot. And it was come Christmas time. I wanted... You know, MTV never paid. Right. <laughs> you know that. right. And um, come Christmas time, I wanted to make extra money for my family, so I got a job in the department store, Fred Siegel, in the luggage department. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of, you know, working it and having a really good time. And I see Rennie Harlan, the director of the, the movie, the director of Ford Fairlane, walks in, come in to buy luggage. And he goes, Kari, hey. And I just pretended I was shopping. Oh, that's good. That's smart. That's smooth. <laughs> no, so I you... got me fired. Oh, you got fired? <laughs> Why? Because, you know, my, my co-worker was like, Kari, we need you back behind the desk. I'm like, oh, yeah, right. Very funny. You know, just pretending that I was like, so what's up, Renny? You know, yeah. just pretend. He's like, do you work here? I'm like, no, no, I'm just I'm shopping. That's great. You know, buying to me, buying on yeah. Diamo, you That's know? funny. <laughs> and I got fired. I think, he found but, out anyway. But it's a good working. thing because at least during the whole process, you kept your clothes on, and that's a good thing. <laughs> We'll button on the end of that story mm -hmm, for everybody. Good, Fred. Thank uh, you. Eight Legged Freaks <laughs> opens next Wednesday. Pleasure meeting you. Number f uh, top 50 always. Kari Wurr. Yeah.